Teams, creating posts in Teams. In this video, we'll show you how to use posts in Teams. From Teams, select the team you're a member of and then select the channel you would like to post a message in. To start a new post, you can click on Start a Post in the bottom left. You can then start typing in a message. When you create a post in a team, all the members of this channel will be able to see that message, unlike private chat. When I'm ready, I can press the post button in the bottom right. Now no one will receive a notification to let them know that there's a new message in there. They just see that the team or channel shows up as bold the next time they open up Teams. If you need to make sure that a person receives a notification about the post, you need to mention someone by typing the at symbol and then typing their name. You can mention an individual and then type your message. Now in this channel, I can see that message. But the person I mentioned, John, has received an alert to let him know that there's a new message for him. If John replies and mentions me back, you'll see the notification that I'll receive here. If you have Teams closed, you'll receive an email instead of the purple banner. If you're in a different channel when you're mentioned, the pop-up notification still appears, so you're alerted to the fact that someone has mentioned you and you'll see the various notifications pop up there. You can also mention multiple people. So I can mention John and EditLearn by typing at John and clicking on his name and at Edit and clicking on their name. This can become quite time consuming if there's a lot of people in your team that you want to mention so that they get a notification. Instead, you can even mention the channel that you're in or the entire team. To do this, type the at symbol and then type channel. Click on the channel name. Then everyone who is a member of that channel will receive a notification. Alternatively, I can type the at symbol and the word team and this will send a notification to the entire team. Notice these symbols indicate that someone has been mentioned. Logged in as John, I can see that this team's name is in bold. That means there's new activity in there and I've got a one to show that I've been mentioned. If John clicks in the team, he'll also see that one next to the channel name. And if any new posts appear within that team, he see that the channel is bolded. Down here you can see he's been mentioned and the whole channel or the whole team's been mentioned. And then while he's in this team, someone's posted in that photo channel. So that photo channel is now bold to indicate there's a new post in that channel. It's worth noting that regardless of when people join a team, they can see all prior posts in the channel they can access. That's great for new starters as they'll be able to access content in a team prior to them joining. With existing posts, you can click on reply to reply to a post or you can react. You can also edit a post. So if you've made a typo like me here, you can hover over the post and click on the pencil icon and edit and change it. You can also delete it if you want by clicking on the three ellipses and clicking delete. Note, you can only edit your own posts. However, as an owner, you might have permissions to delete other people's posts. You can see here, I can delete John's post. With existing posts, you can click and hover to add a reaction, or you can click on reply to reply to that post. As well as rich text and the ability to add tables, links and make the post marked as important, you can also change the settings of individual posts. Click on the settings icon in the top right of the post field. Here you can choose who can reply to the post, 
Team owners are default moderators. And you can choose to post the post in multiple channels. This allows you to post the same message into any team you're a member of. To select which teams you would like to post in, click on the plus symbol. You can then select a different team and channel to post this in. Note that if someone replies to this post, it's only visible in the team in which they post the reply. If you want your post to stand out, you can change it to an announcement. Click on the page icon next to the post button in the bottom right of your post field and click on announcement. You will then be able to type in a headline and edit the color scheme of this announcement. Announcements can also be posted across multiple teams.